Hello, I'm Wendy Weiger and this is Word from the Woods. I'm speaking to you from my off-the-grid land on the shore of First Roach Pond, deep in the Maine woods. This is a section cut from a log that I use as a base for splitting firewood. You may remember an earlier episode where I showed you my wood stove. When I need to restart my fire, say in the morning when I get up, I have to begin with smaller pieces of wood to catch fire more easily. Once the fire is well established, I can add larger pieces of wood that require more flame exposure to ignite, but once they are burning, they'll last a lot longer. This is fairly typical of the wood that is delivered to me. To split it into the smaller pieces that I need for fire starting, I use an axe and a sledgehammer. If I have a piece of wood that's more resistant to splitting, once I've made the initial cut with the axe, I can substitute this broader wedge to make the splitting easier. There we go. Splitting firewood is a chore that is central to my life here in the woods. When the temperature is below zero Fahrenheit and wood is your only source of heat, keeping a good fire going is a matter of life and death. But for me, wood splitting can be more than just another chore. It can be a kind of dynamic meditation. When I'm swinging an ax, if I don't fully concentrate on what I'm doing, there's a chance the ax will end up somewhere I really don't want it to be, for instance, in some part of my body. So splitting wood is a good way to practice sharpening my focus on the task that I'm doing in the present moment. Wood splitting also offers a good upper body workout. The exercise involved generates quite a bit of body heat. As Thoreau pointed out, firewood warms you twice. The first time when you're doing the work of splitting it, and the second time when you actually burn it. Until next time, stay warm.